Right, Lucas, first time since you came to Cheltenham, you've got to mm -hmm. deal with the defeat after, you know, dream start to, yeah. to your career. What, how did you see Tuesday night's game? Um, well, I thought uh, it was quite a sloppy for performers in general, but uh, I feel as though, you know, we could have easily got a point out of it. Um, missed a lot of opportunities, but um, since I've been here, I think, uh, you know, after sort of the penalty and that, I think we all got a bit you know, wound up or, you know, a bit annoyed at the whole situation. Things weren't really going our way and stuff like that. So um I think we just gotta bounce back and uh you know, Saturday's gonna be a really good opportunity for us, you know, Plymouth they're not on a good run and you know, I think we can uh, sort of really expose them and, and try to get back on the winning trail like so. I think it's a good opportunity for us. Yeah, the, win, the winning run is always going to come to an end. It, like you said, it's about bouncing back now and learning from what you did wrong, how, you know, with what went wrong after the goal went in on Tuesday, isn't it? That's what it's all about. Yeah, that's what it's all about. You know, it's about bouncing back. And uh, the gaffer said that it was going to come to an end sometime. And uh, it's how we react, really. So I think the, you know, out, it starts from today. All the lads, you know, make sure we train well and train properly and prepare properly for the game on Saturday. And, uh, Hopefully, take it from there. Really, it's never easy when a team struggling down at the bottom of the league come away to play you, is it? Because they can probably get behind the ball and, yeah. and it'd be te a test of patience, maybe to break them down. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you know, Neil says, you know, when sides come to, you know, us that they'll probably sit behind the ball and you know, nil nil's not a, not a bad result after 60 minutes. You know, uh, like you say, it's about you know grinding the result out and hopefully getting past that. You know, stage with a victory, so we'll just see how it goes on Saturday. Yeah, I've asked you this before, but a bit further down the line now. Do you think you can see yourself extending your loan stay here? Yeah, I think my last game's up on uh, Saturday, and uh, the gaffer has, has said he's going to speak to uh, the gaffer at Everton, and uh, hopefully I'll extend my loan yeah, until just, Christmas. So. Until Christmas, that'd be good. Yeah, it yeah. seems to be working well for everyone at the moment. You're playing regularly, enjoying your football, and yeah. obviously learning. Cer certainly, yeah, I'm really. Uh, Loving my time here, and uh, you know I'm learning every day, and the uh, league experience is helping me a lot with my, uh, you know, with my game. So I'm feeling as though it's going really well. Yeah, is there anything specific you think you've improved already since you've been at Cheltenham? Yeah, I think the uh, physical sides got better. Uh, you know, I've certainly think my hardest test was probably Accrington. You know, the conditions, the ground, and stuff like that. Uh, you know. It, it was a hard place to go and you know I really you know learn you know that's how League Two football is you know um, when you go away from home but uh, you know like I say I've really enjoyed my time and experience here and I'll, I really want to look to uh, continue it so yep. yeah England are playing at Wadden Road tonight the under 16s yeah. um, something you've mm -hmm. been through and experienced yourself tell us a bit about your England's youth experiences <coughs> well uh I'd, I've had a really good time on the international scene. Like um, it's where probably I've, I've had my most exposure. Like you know, um, but you know, Kenny Swain's a really good manager, and I, and I think uh, you know you'll see that tonight with the the way he goes about his teams and how he wants them to play and stuff. Um, yeah, so I think uh, the uh, experiences that I've had with England stand me in good stead for this loan and and forever you know the future of my career and that so uh, I think it's really good yeah um, you know I've played European Championships you know played a lot of countries around Europe and uh, yeah I really enjoyed it yeah, but you've won the European Championships haven't you is that right did you be yeah, part yeah, of that yeah. team I've been, I've been there twice I've been with the, the 92 age group and the 93 age group and I won it with the 93s um, that was probably one of the best experiences of my footballing life so far so I really enjoyed that time yeah there's never that many left footed uh, full backs around always, there's always seems to be a shortage in England um, so does that mean you've, you've got hopes that your international career isn't quite over yet well yeah uh, certainly I mean I may be out of the picture at the moment but um, you know I've, I've played a lot for England you know uh, I've really enjoyed the international scene and I think you know this this loan is going to help me on my way to getting back in the England team because um, you know I'm playing regularly at you know 
uh, football league level and uh, you know progress from there you know hopefully go up the leagues or stay at Everton or whatever it may be just getting back on that road really I mean you know I'm just focusing on my football in the time being I think England you know is a bonus so you know I'll never ever cast it out because you know I really love you know, my country and stuff and I want to play for them so um, yeah uh, just at this moment in time I'll just keep working on my football yeah, I mean, Luke. Luke, Tuesday was the first time I'd seen you play and you and Marlon, you look to have got the set pieces down to a pretty fine art. Yeah, I think uh, we've worked on it on the training pitch and stuff like that because when I first came it didn't really, you know, we didn't organise it correctly and stuff like that but uh, now, you know, as I said, we've got it got it nailed on like so it's, it's took a bit of work on the training pitch for that to happen and the picking up of the ball, it seems to mean something as a sign, or is that even just a bluff? Um, it is a sign, really, like, you know, the one who puts it down, it means the other man who's set up is going to take it, so, you know, it could be caused as a bluff, or it could be, you know, as we foresee it, but, uh, yeah, I think it's a lot more organised and set out, and we know who's going to take the free kick, so, therefore, you know, like you said on Tuesday night, it, it looked a lot better, and, that's where we're going to get better results from it. And who's in charge of organising the ideas that the set pieces? Because obviously Neil Howarth came up with one against Bristol Rovers, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, he is. He, he sorts out all the free kicks out and does all the hard work on the training pitch side. So, yeah, Neil does a lot of work to do that side of the So whose fault is it that it goes wrong? Is it yours, Marlon's? Or you know, the player's not getting on the end of it, or is it Neil's? Um, I'd probably like to say it was me or Marlon because we're, you know, the set piece takers and, you know, they rely on delivery. So we've been taught, you know, to do that certain way of setting it up. So if we do it wrong, I think it's our fault. Fair enough, big of you to admit. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I suppose, with you and Marlon, you've got the left foot, right foot combination. There's yeah. the option, isn't there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, like you say, you know, you can either do the, the, the right footer from the left hand side, which is an in swinger. Or you can do, you know, the left foot of me, which is an outswinger. So, yeah, I think I think that's good. And do you enjoy the responsibility of that? Because obviously, there's not too many left footers in the team, so you're sort of pretty high up the pecking order. Uh, yeah, I do really enjoy it. I mean, that is my game. You know, set piece taking is what you know I do, and I do it a lot at Everton. So, um, yeah, really enjoy it.